I'm honestly so lost at what Genshin Impact is doing now because uh, they, it, this seems like a mistake from their social media account, but I can't really tell. So let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So you go over to their social media, uh, you scroll down, I'll hate them trailer just dropped. That's great. Right before the I'll hate them trailer, uh, they dropped the banners for the next half of the patch. And they've only done this like one other time, I'm pretty sure with, with Zhang Li's banner a long time ago, they, they dropped all the patch banners all at once. But this, the reason I think this might be a mistake is because it seems like they were drafting up a post and then they didn't really like finish the draft. So they wrote from Ashes Reborn and Oni's Royale when like these are not the names of the banners at all. Wait, you can't even see this because my camera's in the way. Give me one second. Boom, I'm gone. Moment of Bloom is the name of one and Discerner of Enigmas is the other one. And now what's crazy about this is that like, I don't think we ever will know if this was intentional or if this maybe is just like a lantern right thing where they just give us all the banners ahead of time. So that way they don't have to work and like post this later, but we can do a review now. So let's do it. Let's talk about these banners. So uh, let me let me just tell you straight up. This is one of the best banners we've seen in a long time. We have the return of Sing Shaw, which is immediately just so good. It feels like we haven't had him in forever. I, I feel like maybe we have, and I just am not remembering, but I feel like it's been forever since we had Sing Shaw on a banner. And he's such a good unit, and he enables Hu Tao, he enables every pyro in the game, and he enables Hyper Bloom teams, and he enables Taser teams, and he enables like most, oh, and Freeze. He enables like most teams in the game that are good. Sing Shaw is on them, or he can be in them, and he's adding to the team. And Beto is also a similar case where like she can fit in a lot of teams with like Overvape, or she can just be uh, a part of a Taser team. People are also finding uh, room for her in Hyperbloom where she doesn't proc the, the Hyperblooms, but she can still deal Electro damage and be batteried by like Fischl or something if you bring Fischl instead. There's a lot of ways to run Beto in these teams as well. So overall, Singchul and Beto are just very, very strong units. And they're running alongside two absolute powerhouse units. You have Hu Tao and then you also have Yelan. And Yelan is, again, an insanely good unit. Can basically do all the things that Singchul can, just albeit with the Pyro carries like Hu Tao. She can't keep up with the Hydro application as well as Singchul can, but she's very strong strong nonetheless, and she's a very good pickup. And if you run both of them together, you just have insane powerhouse teams. So this is insane to me because these banners seem like too good to be true. We also have Ningguang on there. If you're a Geo enjoyer, then you're going to be a Ningguang enjoyer. If you're not a Geo enjoyer, probably not a Ningguang enjoyer. But as far as Geo teams can go, Ningguang is a good Geo unit. Some people will also play her with like prototype Amber, or they'll use her with Thrilling Tails or something in Geo teams. So there's lots of ways to use Ningguang. Even though she's not considered a meta unit, she's not really a bad unit per se. She's She's just Geo. So take that as you will. If you're not a Geo enjoyer, then she might not be as great a pull for you. But all of that aside, these characters on this banner are, are kind of nuts. And I am so shocked that they dropped this on us. Like I, I have, I'm, I'm, this is crazy. Also, I just don't know how you really let something like this slip by where you, you know, releasing another banner information or something, or I don't know. It, it seems really backwards, but let's also talk about the weapon banner because uh, this banner is so goaded. This banner is so good. Okay, so Aqua Simulacra, if you guys don't know, Aqua Simulacra is a crit damage main stat weapon. 88 crit damage. It's very, very strong. It has pretty low base attack, but it's meant to be Yalan's weapon. It also gets partial HP scaling because it increases your HP by 16%. When there's opponents nearby, the damage dealt by the wielder of this weapon is increased by 20%. So basically, uh, even like anywhere near enemies, you're getting bonus on the damage, which is really good. Damage bonus is really hard to beat. Uh, HP increase isn't doing a lot for most characters, but that said, the damage bonus is a lot. The crit damage is a lot. And if you have any sort of like buffs, like no bless and things, the low stat doesn't really mean as much. So Aqua Simulacra is an incredibly good bow. And Staff of Homa, if I remember correctly, it's like 66 crit damage, adds some HP to you, gives you some bonus based on your HP, attack based on 0.8% of the wielder's max HP. It's been a while since I've seen the exact exact effect, but there you go. When the wheeler's HP is below 50%, it's also increased by an additional 1% of HP. So it's like, it's so much. These weapons do so much for you. 20% damage bonus is really good. 1.8% uh, of HP converted to attack is really good. And on crit weapons, nonetheless, these two five stars are really good. If you are thinking about pulling for like DPS weapons, if you want to pull a weapon for Xiao even, I would say that this weapon banner is a better weapon banner than the previous one, even if you're just pulling for like a Xiao weapon, because Staff of Homa is such a universally good weapon. Aqua Simulacra is so universally good. Even if you don't get Staff of Homa, it's a really good weapon as well. Now that said, weapon banner is a scam. You should go into the weapon banner with the idea or with the mindset that you are going to get Skyward Pride first on your first 50 or 75, 25. You should assume the worst and you should only go into this banner if you are completely willing to accept the fact that you will probably get screwed in some way, shape or form. That said, if you're going to get screwed, this is the banner to do it on. <laughs> 
Last time it was Elegy and Homa. This time it is Aqua Simulacra and Homa. And anything that Homa is on the other weapon, as long as it's like good, this is the, it's a good banner. The four stars are pretty all right. Favonia Sword is very good. It's a very good pickup. Dragon's Bane can be a really good pickup for a bunch of different characters. Fav Codex is, is kind of okay. There's uh, definitely a lot of catalyst to compete with. So that's going to hurt Fav Codex. And Lithic Blade is kind of honestly kind of mid. Rust is going to be good if you're a Yoimiya main, but you know, like that's, that's kind of biased based on this channel also. But I guess what I'm saying is that Favonius and Dragon's Bane are really good four-star pickups. The two on-banner five-star weapons are really good pickups, and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to lose out on a banner like this than it would be on a, a banner like Ahithem and Shows, especially considering like how good the four-stars are across the board on all of these. So to be honest, if you're newer to the game, I would say that these are like some pretty decent banners to roll on. Although again, if you're new, I don't recommend the weapon banner, but if you're going to go for it anyways, it's not a bad one. It's pretty good. As far as characters go, Hu Tao is going to be just your pyro carry. I made a video on Hu Tao if you want to check that one out, basically talking about the pros and cons of Hu Tao and what we know now, just that she's been out for a while. If you want a pyro carry, Hu Tao is going to, going to be good enough for you. If you want a, an amazing all around support, which I always think you should prioritize supports over main damage dealers because supports will carry any team, Yolan is going to be your gal for that. A couple cycles ago in Spiral Abyss, I had one team that was literally just Yolan and Singcho, and it was able to clear in, I, I think, a minute and a half to two minutes on most floors with just these two units they add so much damage as like supporting units that are off field dealing damage they're really great so i don't want to overhype these banners or anything but i do want to make sure you guys know that these banners look really good for the second half and you're probably not going to want to miss them so with that said if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe down below i actually have an i'll hate them guide and a first impressions video coming out very very soon and hopefully i'll have a yow yow one as well also check out the twitch at twitch.tv slash braxophone feel free to follow the twitter i post funny things sometimes and they're they're good you should follow anyways thank you bye bye thanks for watching bye